Hey guys, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. As you can see, today we are in the kitchen and we are actually doing a crock pot dinner. We are making, they call it the best crock pot beef stew and I will agree, it is absolutely delicious. So I have my crock pot on high and I'm gonna add two pounds of beef stew. I did brown it. The recipe does not say to brown it, but I did go ahead and brown it. You're gonna need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. I did not add the onion. It calls for one medium onion. I did not add that. Two ribs of celery. I think I did two and a half. Then we're gonna need tomato paste, six ounces of tomato paste, 32 ounces of beef broth, two tablespoons of the W sauce, two cups of carrots. I have those right here. There's my two cups of carrots. Four to five red potatoes. I don't I don't add red potatoes to the actually I don't add any potatoes to this at all. I find the potatoes get mushy, so I'm leaving the potatoes out. You'll need one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon or one teaspoon of oregano, one cup of frozen peas, one cup frozen corn, one fourth cup of flour, and one fourth cup of water. So what I have in my um, container here, I have the beef broth, the tomato paste, the parsley, and the oregano. And I just, I always add, whenever I'm making a recipe that calls for a liquid with a tomato paste, I usually mix the tomato paste in the liquid. We're going to go ahead and pour this over that. This is such a good recipe. We made this many, many times. I'm going to give that a quick stir. And I will have the recipe below as well as on my blog. All right, so we're gonna let that go. So you can see we're not adding the corn or the peas or the flour. We're gonna add them toward the end. Gonna put my lid on it. And it does say to cook on low for 10 hours or high for six to seven. It's already 11 o'clock, so I'm going for high. Now we'll come back when about 30 minutes before serving. Um, we'll add the peas and the corn and the flour and we'll thicken it and we'll see how it tastes. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, we are back with our crock pot beef stew. It has been cooking on high for five hours. I believe it is done. Do you see inside there? I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And we're gonna test out the meat to see if the meat is done. Just take a spoon. You can see it just breaks right in half, very, very tender. All right, now at this point, you're gonna add in your quarter cup of flour and quarter cup of water. You wanna mix the two of them together. That's going to thicken the broth. Give that a stir. And you wanna let this Continue on for about 30 minutes and you'll see this thicken. You can also add your frozen vegetables. I have some corn and peas. I believe it calls for a cup of corn and a cup of peas, but I do not have quite a cup of the peas, which is fine. And you can see it's already starting to thicken up. All right, we'll let this go about another half hour. Come back and taste it, or come back and look at it and then we'll taste it right before dinner. All right, so I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. All right, we are back with our beef stew. Take the lid off and we will see. All right, so it seems like it's a little bit thicker than what it was earlier. Again, we added the flour in there. If you want it to be more thicker than this, I think this is a good thickness here. If you want it thicker, you can always add more flour and water. You can also make a cornstarch slurry, which is just basically cornstarch mixed with some water as well. That will definitely thicken it. I'm gonna take some out of here. I'm gonna take a piece of beef and a piece of celery and also a carrot and see how this is. So you can see here, the sauce does have thickness to it. It's not too thick. And again, if you want to add potatoes in here, you can do that. Onions and garlic, I, I chose to leave those out. I'm going to taste the carrot first. It's really, really hot. It 
so good though. The carrot still has some body to it, so it's not mushy. Now the celery. Okay, the celery, the same idea. Just, you can see, I mean, the, the beef is so tender. And I did brown at first. Like, I don't think the recipe said to brown either. I just, you know, brown food tastes good. And that is so, so good. All you need now is some crusty bread to sop up that sauce with. But really, really good. All right, there you have it. A Pinterest Inspire Project um, crock pot beef stew. And the recipe said it was the best. I will happen. I have no great. It is absolutely delicious. Um, any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.